Hello, hello everyone. Today, we'll walk, I walk you, I will walk you through installing and configuring Azure DevOps on premises. Azure DevOps Server is uh, the new name or brand for famous Team Foundation Server. Okay, all the pages you can find in the description. Deployment choices, whatever it's a, we will concentrate on single single server for the purpose of uh, this uh, demonstration. We can install dual server, multiple server. Um, in simple, you can install uh, Azure Devop in a single server containing everything with uh, SQL server, code search, uh, everything well, um, for better performance, uh, we prefer to install on a dual server, one for data tier. SQL server Microsoft SQL and the other server uh, is the application server in Azure DevOps it's a different than TFS uh, before uh, you can uh, install uh, an application server and a build server the build server is also an application server here in Azure DevOps and the concept, concept uh, for build has been changed to uh, pipelines. We'll get into that in a different video. Reporting configuration choice. If uh, it's better to install reporting, but I will not install it to, uh, in this uh, demo, in this walkthrough. So, this version for evaluation and the following deployment process deliberation uh, the request is for Azure DevOps server system requirements requirement. this is a requirement Hardware recommendation. I recommend that you bought a mini processor on that BMO server. Azure DevOps and TFS consume resources a lot. Uh, Microsoft uh, is saying 500 beyond the scaling beyond the 500 users. Forget this. From my experience, it depends on your usage. Maybe you are two or three developers. Uh, maybe you will consume the same as 500. So it, con it, it depends on the monitoring. You monitor here, the task manager. You monitor how much uh, resources is consumed by uh, the application and um, and maybe, maybe I will put another video to get um, insights and uh, know maybe uh, sometimes you know you will consume more than other. It depends on your uh, purpose for or how you would use Azure DevOps. Operating system. Okay. Azure DevOps Server 2020 can only run on 2019 server and 2016. Okay, this server is 2022. Okay, but it's the same architect as uh, Windows 2019, so no problem about that. So, uh, client operating system, whatever, you can run it on many clients, we will see. 
you can access it uh, through Visual Studio or uh, through just web we will see all of that proxy I will not install proxy in this walkthrough uh, virtualization secure database you see here the supported database for this version Azure SQL database SQL Server 2019-17-16 okay I will install the express version so it will install together active directory this is a member server natural language support only English okay For any question regarding Azure DevOps or TFS, please send to me. Here it demonstrates how to install. Let's go. I will put all the links even for this version of Azure DevOps in the description. Right click, run as administrator. Yes. Each step uh, is time consuming, so don't worry about that. Leave it till it finish. Now it's uh, beginning to install. It it will take a lot a lot of time. I will cut this part from the video. Now it is finished. Restart wizard. Next. We we'll choose this a new Azure DevOps deployment, advanced, new deployment with advanced and Azure. Okay, let's start with basic English, English. Let's see the other. SQL. Install SQL Server Express. Okay. Or use an existing SQL Server instance. I already installed SQL Server in uh, Express. So I will just click next database test. Okay. Next. Uh, the URL is the name of the machine. Next, I will not install code search in this demonstration. I'll just click next. Next, next. give us an error let's see cannot be created because the service is the same name is already exist okay let's change
Okay, let's choose the advanced scenario. application tier only advanced we'll choose um, a service account enable or disable we'll disable it is fast It will take a while, it will take time, it will take time till it finish. Warning, forget about warning. Is one set application tier, cache folder, be placed on a disk. It's okay, of course, for the album. But here, I didn't want, uh, give this VM more than 50 gigabytes, so it is now less after restoring or whatever, configure. I forget to uninstall uh, SQL Server Express. I I, I uninstalled only uh, Azure DevOps. That's why it gave me the master error. But um, at least I show you if you have your database and want to connect how simple it is. Now it is finished. Success next. Success the file is here. And open port 80 on firewall. Exceptional. Located it exceptional here. Close. Close. That's the console. I will explain each part of this console later. But when you see that, it means that the installation was successful. Of course, I didn't install button. Pipelines, whatever. Even if if you configure the pipelines, it will not appear here in the console. It open automatically, but that's the lock. It's a good practice to watch this lock. It's a close. We can open it easily from here.
application the idea of the version managed URL we didn't configure it we can easily configure it later public URL that's the public URL let's test it's working. Let's see, check it. It will ask the username and the password. That's a domain user. takes time it takes time to load so just wait for it this is sort of a project test okay. Now, if everything is working, the installation is successful. Thank you, and see you in another video.